In this video, I'm going to do a basic setup of various types of Lutron wireless blinds that I'm going to add to my existing Lutron Ratu Select system. And the steps that will follow can be used for anyone setting up Lutron motorized blind for the very first time or for anyone that would like to see how easy it is to set them up. So without further ado, let's do it. Hi, I'm Xavier and you are on the Adelux YouTube channel for lighting control and home automation tutorial. So let's just dive into it. To illustrate all the programming steps, I've set up a small Ratu Select demo. I have a Ratu Select main repeater already running and the Lutron Ratu Select app already set up. And if you need to know first how to do the initial setup of a Ratu Select system, we've posted a basic step-by-step -step guide and you can find the link on the description below or by clicking on the card above. Now, the motorized blinds that I want to add to my Ratu Select system are a Lutron Sivoya QS Triathlon Shear Blind, which is battery operated, that I have in the office, and two Lutron Sivoya QS Wireless, one Blackout Roman Blind, and one Shear Roller that I have in the bedroom. The idea here is to first set up as well as operate the Lutron Blinds using the Ratu Select app, then to program the Lutron Pico remotes to control the blinds. But first, before you start programming any type of motorized blinds, you need to make sure that obviously they're properly powered and that the open and the close limit have been set up directly onto the blinds. Surely, we'll be able to modify and adjust the limit using the Lutron app, but you want to make sure before you start, then the blind will stop at some point at the top and at the bottom of your window. So let's start by adding the Lutron battery operated shear blind in the office. Let's go to the Lutron Ratu Select app, go to Settings and select Add Device. From the list, I'll select the shade Drapery Blind icon and the app indicates that once the LED starts blinking on the blind, I should press and hold the button on the blind for 10 seconds, which I do now. Once found, the app goes automatically onto the next screen where I need to select where this blind is located. And in my case, I select the office and press next. The app asks to name my shade. So because I only have one in the office, I simply name it blind and press next. The app add and then confirm that my Lutron office blind has been added. As I'm already there within the app, I'm also going to add the blinds that I have in the bedroom. Please note that these are Lutron Sivoya QS wireless blinds, which means that they receive their power from wired power supplies, but the communication with the rest of the Lutron system is done via Lutron wireless dongle connected to the blind. So I click on add another device button. Same thing again, from the list, I select the shade icon, press and hold the button for 10 seconds, which I'll do first on the shear blind, on the Lutron Sivoya QS wireless blind, we can press any of the button on the drive. Then the app goes to the next screen and I select where this blind is located. And in this case, I select master bedroom and press next. Then I'll name it shear and press next again. And my master bedroom shear has now been added. I also need to add my Roman blind, so I click on the Add Another Device button. These are exactly the same steps, so I'll fast forward as I'm sure you get the picture. Now that my motorized blinds have been added, let's test them. So from the app under Office, I select my blind and access full control of that blind. At the top, I can see the current status of that blind, which is helpful if you're in a different room or away from your house. From the icon on the side, I can close and open the blind. I can also use the up and down arrows, which I can press and hold until the blind gets to the desired position. I can press the star position to bring my blind to 50%, or my favorite, use the slider, and I can see that the position in percentage at the top follows in real time, which is great. The other great feature is that from there, if I select Edit Device, I have access to a few parameters that I can change if I want to. But more importantly, 
I can adjust my open and close limit in case it's needed over time, without having to go all the way up to the drive or call back the blind fitters. Now that my Lutron blinds are part of my Ratu Select system, let's use some Pico remote to control them. Operating your blinds from the app is great and fun, especially when you're away from your home, but when inside the house, Pico's remotes are very convenient and also very important as they have direct communication with the rest of the Lutron system. So you don't have to unlock your phone, launch the app, wait for it to connect before you can operate your lights or your blinds. With Pico remotes, you can directly push a button to control your system. Different Pico configurations are available. In the office, since I have only one motorized blind, I'm going to use a simple three buttons plus raise and lower Pico controller. And in the bedroom, I'm also going to use three button plus raise and lower Picos, but one will be engraved for shear and the other one for blackout for additional convenience. As we are in the bedroom, let's start here and add the Pico that is engraved for blackout to operate the Roman blind. Let's go to settings and select add device. Here I select Pico remote and as shown on the picture, I need to press and hold the button button for 10 seconds, which I do now. Once found, the app goes automatically to the next screen where I select where this Pico is located. And in this case, I select master bedroom and then press next. Now the app asks me to select what this Pico will operate. So I select shades and then press next and my Pico has now been added. Now, let's add the other Pico with the shear engraving to operate the shear blind. Same thing here, add another device, select Pico remote, press and hold the button button for 10 seconds, select master bedroom and then press next. Because I already have a Pico in the same room, the app offers to specify the name for each one. So I'm going to call this one shear and the other one Roman and then press next. Confirm that the Pico will also operate shades and press next. And that second Pico has now been added. And to finish, I click on the I'm done adding device button. So now let's test those Picos. The first thing that I've noticed is that both Pico remotes in the bedroom operate both Lutron blinds. Although this can be useful in certain situations, this is not what I want here. So let's see how easy it is to change those Pico settings. From the main screen, let's select the Pico for the Roman, press on Edit Device, select Device, and from there, I can see that both blinds are currently selected. So I simply deselect the shear blind, then press on the back button, and then click Save. I will also follow the same process and edit the settings on the other Pico to only operate the shear blind. And now I have each Pico remote controlling the correct blind. That was very easy. I also programmed the Pico in the office following the same process and that one works well too. Voila, there you have it. We've just completed the basic setup of Lutron motorized wireless blind on the Lutron Ratu Select system. We've added the blind using the Lutron Ratu Select app and shown how to control them using your phone. Then we've added Lutron Pico remotes and shown how easy it was to modify their settings. I hope you find this tutorial useful and on the next video, we will review some other features available within the Lutron Ratu Select system. So please, make sure to like and subscribe so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much and talk to you again on the next tutorial.